Alright guys, welcome back to our channel. We are Ball and Feed and today we're gonna teach you how to count your wedding dance music, okay? Let's jump right in. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you how to count Foxy music, V Waltz music, and Rumba music because those are our major wedding dance songs that we've taught and we have up on our channel already. So we figured it'd be nice to kind of go through exactly how we count those types of music with that style of dance. So we're gonna start with our Foxy basic, okay? So we'll start with the four count one. So just to demonstrate what we're talking about really quick. This is the one where we're taking two walks and two sways and we're gonna count it one, two, three, four and repeat one, two, three, four. So what that's gonna look like with the count, one, two, three, four. So most of the wedding songs that you hear are gonna be Foxy's, which are in an average 4-4 four, four timing at a slower pace, which is why this dance usually works so nicely with them. So what we're gonna do is pick a song that is a Foxy and we're going to count it with you, okay? So let's do that. We're gonna grab a song and then we'll start clapping. It's a little weirder to the slow songs and then Chris is gonna help us count it, okay? Six, seven, eight. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dance that for you and we'll put the count on the screen or something like this. a different kind of count in the Foxy, which is our six steps instead of four, just a cradle basic, but this will still keep the same pattern of the even timing going throughout. You could count that in just sixes to keep it consistent instead of fours. We can do a whole separate video maybe on that if that's a confusing topic, okay? But Foxy is pretty simple because there's no rhythm changes and it's pretty straightforward in finding that beat. And be sure to check out our first video, which I'm gonna link up in a card here for you to really help you find the beat. But the easiest way is to start as soon as the song begins by finding the one, and then it should be consistent from there. Okay, let's move right along and let's do our rumba, which is gonna be a little bit harder because it has a rhythm change, which we'll talk about in a second. So we're gonna use our box step just to demonstrate that. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. So now instead of one, two, three, four, we have a slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. So you can hear just the rhythm. Of course, we're going slower in the first step. Quick, quick, obviously a little bit quicker. Chris, you wanna break down the beats? So it's still four numbers in the box itself, but we only take three steps for half the box, or we take three steps for every four counts. Because our first step is longer, as you just said, our first step takes up the one and the two count, and then we step three, four. So together really slowly, we take our first step, one, and we hold on the two, and then move three, four, one, two, three, four. So our first step is twice as long as our second and third step. And that's how we still use the same amount of time in the same full four time music. So sometimes counting the numbers is, can, can be very confusing for some people, which is why just counting the rhythm of the slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick is a little simpler for beginners, or if you're a numbers person, then for sure count those beats and that'll be a little bit clearer for you. But what we're gonna do now is put on a rumba song and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna clap for the slow, quick, quick, so I'm not gonna clap on the two to help you find that beat. And Chris can do the slow, quick, quick, and also with the numbers, just to kind of show you how that would be, because it is a little bit trickier than the first one. Rumba is unique because it's the only wedding dance we have where you have a different beat value for every step. Where Foxy and V-Waltz, you step consistently every single new beat or measure. Rumba is the only one where this one step is longer than the other ones. You have to now time steps differently in the music, which could make it more complicated. Yeah. Okay, so we found a rumba song that we can easily hopefully hear. I'm gonna start clapping and he can count the slows and quicks starting and then going into the numbers, okay? So again, I'm only gonna be clapping on the one, the three, and the four, or the slow, quick, quick. I'm gonna be skipping that two entirely, okay? So we can count slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, slow, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So 
definitely a little more advanced, but it's definitely a beautiful kind of style of song. So that's also a great option for you. We're gonna dance that really quick to music. Okay, so moving right along into the last style of dance we're gonna do today, which is our single time Viennese waltz, or our V waltz as we call it. So this one is gonna be a little bit trickier in the sense of we're gonna talk about what the beats are as the one, two, three, and also just the one, and then we're gonna call it hold. That way we know that it's just gonna be one beat, and then we're gonna hold those two, three sometimes that are in the music, okay? So let's talk about that really quick. So first, let's actually just use our hesitation so we can show you and we can count with that. We're just gonna say one hold for now. We go one hold, two hold, three hold, four hold. So the holds is just two extra beats. So if we were to count it with all of those numbers, it would be one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. So basically just moving through those extra little syncopations. Typically when we count this wedding style Venus Waltz, we're only taking a step every three counts or on every measure itself, right? So like Lynch just said, we could just count it one, two, three, four, and we're not actually counting all the beats, we're just counting the number of measures that we're dancing on, right? We can make this as complicated or simple as we want, right? Lynn's counted it really nicely where she said, one, two, three, two, two, three, where the first number is the number of measures that we're on. So at the very beginning, this is our first measure, so we're counting one, two, three. Now we're gonna go into the second measure, so I'm gonna say two, and then continue on with the next two numbers, two, three. My second two numbers are always gonna be two, three. Two, two, three. I'm now going into my third measure, so instead of saying one, I'm gonna say three, two, three. Three, two, three, and now you're catching on, so I'm gonna go to my fourth step, or fourth measure, four, two, three. You don't have to count the two, three after, but if you're learning how to count all the beats in the music, especially with Vini's Waltz, it's so much faster, it's gonna be like one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Why this is a wedding style of Venus Waltz is because normal Venus Waltz, you step on every single one of those counts and you run your way down the floor. Where here, we're just stepping every third count to slow it down and make, make, it, it, easy. make it easier and a slow dance for us instead of an incredibly fast dance. So one more time, we'll count this. Me going one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. If that's still confusing in terms of what numbers I'm using when, you can't always say one every single time. You just won't be able to cumulatively say the number of steps you took. So we can still go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, or I can just say the number of steps that I'm taking and forget about the two, three in the latter half of the measure and just go one, two, three, four, and just count the whole measures that we dance every time. Which is usually the easiest and that's what we would suggest if you're starting out or if you're just learning the steps also as long as you're taking those steps in the time with that beat and not going too fast through it then that's definitely the easiest way i would say yeah also with the music so what we're going to do now is practice to a song so we can start off by counting just the one two three four and you'll hear little other beats in the music as well so it'll be a stronger beat on the one and the two three four and then a tick tick which is going to be a little softer but there's more beats that we're not actually going to clap on and then if we wanted to we can add the timing i'm still just going to clap on each of those beats but chris can add in the one two three one two three or two two three however he feels he wants to say the numbers but i'm going to continually clap on just the step so this is when we'll be actually stepping, and the other one, this is what we're not gonna be stepping on, okay? So let's give it a shot to the music and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna start counting on the one. Let's go one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And so on. Okay, so now that we've practiced a little bit, we're gonna count and also dance that one step with the music so you can join us if you'd like. All 
right, you guys, so those are our major slow dances. So hopefully one of your wedding songs will match with one of those styles. So if you'd like, you can actually leave a comment below with your song, ask us which dance style does this best fit with. We'll send you the answer and then hopefully you can find your way to match it. Potentially in the future, if we get enough requests, we might consider maybe counting the most popular dance song. So the Ed Sheeran Perfect song, we might consider counting, making a video specifically for that. But we're gonna try to stick to more generalized things. And if something is super highly requested, again, doesn't hurt to put it down below and we'll try our best to fit all of those needs. But just ask us what style of dance based on those three dances and hopefully you can count it and I'll help you match all of the dance steps that you've probably been learning if you're watching this video. By the way, if you haven't, we have a ton of dance steps for all of these three dances. I'm gonna link them down below for you so now that you know how to count the music, you'll be able to learn the steps much easier and match it to the music as well. All right guys, thanks so much for sticking to the end. If you haven't seen our general how to count music video, be sure to check that out also because that helps you just find the beat and be sure to stay tuned for the rest of our stuff coming out. We have a ton more stuff up on our website, more in depth, a whole bunch of wedding choreographies, wedding dance stuff like that, so go check it out and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.